All right, welcome back to another one of our film reviews. Today we are breaking down new Chicago Bears edge defender Montez Sweat and his per second performance for the Chicago Bears. This is a great set of cutups for you today to show exactly the impact Sweat can have on this Bears defense, even when he's not lining up the stat sheet. Got a lot of great film for you today. As always, if you appreciate this content, give us a like, give us a comment with any feedback you might have. But without further ado, let's jump into the film. All right, let's open up with a kind of pass rush play. There is Montez Sweat right there on the end. And the Carolina Panthers here are just running a play action pass with a bootleg on the other side. They're going to get the entire offensive line kind of working this way to kind of sell run here, everyone up front. You're going to get the tight end to block inside and then release out into a route. But again, I want everyone to focus on Sweat right here because this is a situation where a lot of defensive ends really struggle, right? They either don't play the play action game enough, they don't commit to the run enough, and then teams decide to run the ball down the throat or they don't react quickly enough and get pressure on the quarterback, Montez Sweat can do both. And again, this doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but this is a really nice play forcing the incomplete pass. Let's check out how Sweat does here. You can see everyone up front working to the left, selling run. You can see the play action behind there. You see Montez Sweat again jumping inside to defend against the run, right? His job in this responsibility, the way I believe the defense is structured, is to make sure this tight end doesn't cut him off in the running game. It is a great job right there. But right here, the tight end's going to release out into the flat. Watch what Montez Sweat does. Watch how he redirects and immediately gets in Bryce Young's face, forces the incomplete pass. This is a play a lot of teams like to run, especially with young quarterbacks, because it's supposed to be an easy completion. It may not be a big gain, but in situations like this, the tight end goes out in the flat. It's an easy throw. No one's around him. You know, it could be just two or three yards, but it just gives a young quarterback some confidence. Montez Sweat blows this up so fast, pressures the quarterback, where even that easy completion to make Bryce Young start to feel good about himself ends up being a throwaway. Again, doesn't show up on the stat sheet, right? It's not a sack. It's not a tackle for loss. It's not a batted ball or anything like that. But this is a play. Not only is it an incomplete pass, which is obviously a positive for the Bears defense, this also gets in a young quarterback's head. It gets in an offensive play caller's head. Because if you're sitting there calling plays or if you're playing quarterback, you're like, man, I can't even complete an easy two-yard pass because I got guys in my face all day. This is the impact a guy like Montez Sweat can bring to this defense. Yeah, Nick, and I think that's something he's been doing consistently, and you can look for him to have a lot of repeated success at. He's already had 37 total pressures this season. This guy, he's able to get through the line and absolutely disrupt the quarterback, something he's been very good at in his career so far. But I think that is something that the Bears fans can look forward to in a guy like Sweat is just the repeated amount of pressures. Even though on the stat sheet, not so much, not a sack, not a tackle, nothing like that. He is great at just getting general pressure on the quarterback. All right, next play is another pass rush for Sweat, and there he is on the right side of your screen, head up the tight end in this situation. This is another play action concept from the Carolina Panthers. This is going to be kind of a similar looking deal. We're going to bring motion across here, and they're going to fake a run this direction, and Bryce Young is going to kind of bootleg. It's going to be more of a traditional bootleg action. He's not going to fully get on the edge here like he did on the previous play, but this is a shot play opportunity for the Carolina Panthers. So trying to get everyone on the defense moving this way and then sneak in receivers behind him. Watch Montez Sweat on this one once again. His pressure on the quarterback here not only forces the incomplete pass, this should have been a huge play for the Carolina Panthers offense. It wasn't. Let's check out how 98 blew it up. And you can see the motion. You can see the play action. And right there, you can see the receiver breaking open right there. Again, because you can see all the linebackers, you see Eddie Jackson, number four, everyone's rotating to the left. Right here, they've got him out leveraged, right? You can see the guy covering him right there at the bottom of your screen, right? That's a lot of space there at the bottom of your screen. He is wide open for a big play across. Again, this should be an easy throw and catch for about 15, 20 yards. Hits him in stride. It could be even an even bigger play for the Carolina Panthers. But look at Montez Sweat. Breaks through, pressure on the quarterback, hits the quarterback. Bryce Young, inaccurate throw. Can't step into it. Folks, this is a huge play for the Carolina, Carolina Panthers offense, right? This is something they scheme. They work on it all week. He's got his guy right there. He's wide open. This is a big play for the Panthers. Instead, it's an incomplete pass. And it's all because of the pressure Montez Sweat gets, right? Again, this is so frustrating for a young quarterback and any quarterback for that matter. This is a play you work on all week. It's wide open. It works just as you draw it up. But when you have a player like Montez Sweat, who, again, respects the run, he's not just flying upfield, respecting the run, reacts, beats his man, pressure on the quarterback. Nice work from 98 here. Again, not on the stat sheet, right? Not a sack, not a tackle, nothing like that. But not only is this an incomplete pass, this negated essentially a 25-yard play for the Carolina Panthers. This is what Sweat brings to this defense, and we're going to see a whole lot more of it over the weeks and years to come.
All right, switching up to a run defense, there is Sweat right there on the right side of your screen playing left defensive end. This is an inside run, short yardage situation for the Carolina Panthers. They're basically going to try and just double team everyone inside and try and get movement north and south however they can just to try and get the yardage to get the first down, right? Again, short yardage situation. But what Sweat is able to do in situations like this, where I think is really impressive, he's a defensive lineman that I like to say unleashes other players. And what I mean by that is he's so physical and aggressive, he forces the offense to dedicate a lot of people to. And that's exactly what you're going to see here. So this would normally be a one-on-one -on -one block with the right tackle. Here, Montez Sweat's whole goal is to really just compress the hole inside because it's going to be an inside run most likely right there. If he can compress the hole into his help, right, he's got his big defensive tackle right there. His job is to make sure this running back can't go wide in this gap. He wants to get down in here and fill this gap, create a big pile here. But not only does he do that, he also allows Jaquan Brisker, exciting young safety here, playing in the box to get a great shot at the running back. Again, because of what Sweat's able to do, it unleashes players like Brisker. Let's check it out. You can see the snap. You can see the double team action inside, right? You can see right here. Here's the hole. This is where the Carolina Panthers want to run. You can see it right there, right? But watch how Montez Sweat buries the hole inside. You see how he compresses the hole, gets into 72, drives him back, creates a big pile. Not only that, he also forces 63 for Carolina, also has to come off, and instead of getting on a linebacker or something like that, has to end up double teaming with Sweat right here. So again, you can see right there, he compressed the hole, created a pile, and took two offensive linemen. When you're doing that, it means you get favorable matchups on side. You get Adam Thielen on Jaquan Brisker, wide receiver on safety. That's advantage Brisker, and he makes a great play. But here's the thing, though. This is how the, the Carolina Panthers or any offense draws it up. They're not expecting a wide receiver to win that block. Their whole point is like, well, we'll just keep him wide enough that way he can't come in and make the tackle. But when you have Montez Sweat bearing the hole down inside and compressing the hole like this, it gives Brisker the path to the running back. Because now Adam Thielen has to cover a lot more ground. That's something Adam Thielen can't do. Brisker makes a play. The Carolina Panthers don't get the first down. This is top-level stuff up front. Again, on the stat sheet, nope, but don't see it at all, right? PFF may not even grade this as a win. But it's these little things that Montez Sweat brings to the table. And he's going to get to sacks and tackles for loss too, right? He can certainly do all that. But it's these little things he does on top of it that make him such a great player for the Chicago Bears. Yeah, and I think this a great point that you brought up about guys helping other guys get better, get more favorable looks. Right here, it's the safety in the future. I hope it is the other defensive end in Yannick Ngakwe. I think that this could really be an addition that helps him out raise his game a lot. As you think about all of the other nice double tandem edge duos in the NFL, you think about in Washington when Sweat was with Chase Young. They got a lot of favorable looks there. You think in uh, L.A. with the Chargers. You think about Mack and Bosa. They're getting favorable looks because they are both beasts on the edge. And now in San Francisco, Young is over in San Francisco helping the other Bosa out. This could be a really big thing for the Bears defensive line and Yannick Ngatwe. Just the addition of sweat is going to boost the play of everyone else on that line. All right. On the first set of plays, we've been showing how sweat can use his athletic tools to make big plays and really help out and unleash other players for the Bears defense. But here's an example of just him just being a savvy veteran player and why he's worth the money. So this is just going to be a standard pass rush situation off the edge for sweat. But here's the thing. No one blocks him. They bring an inside blitz and forces the right tackle. He decides to take on the blitz. No one picks up Montez sweat. In this situation right here, what I see a lot of defenders do, especially young, not smart edge defenders, they when they realize they're unblocked, they take an inside path to the quarterback, which usually allows an escape, or they completely come in guns a blazing and end up getting a roughing the passer penalty because they hit the quarterback in a way that's not allowed in today's NFL. Montez Sweat does neither of those things. It's a great savvy play from Sweat. Let's check out how he does. All right, there you can see the blitz coming. The, the offensive tackle decides to pick up the linebacker, most dangerous. So that leaves Sweat completely unblocked. Again, look at Sweat's path. See how he continues on his natural pass rush path? He doesn't immediately bend it inside to take the shortest angle possible to the quarterback because he knows, savvy veteran, played a lot of good football, that Bryce Young has escape ability and he's got outside contain. If he goes inside and Bryce Young goes outside, this is going to be a huge play for the Carolina Panthers offense. But instead, he takes the right path, takes his normal natural pass rush path. Good hit on the quarterback. Here's the important thing. Look at where he hits him. Right there, right on his throwing arm, right on his shoulder. Doesn't go low, doesn't go high, and doesn't land his body weight on him. Just hits him clean and square, right? I guarantee you, today's NFL. If he would have gone high, right? See how he didn't go, he didn't raise his hands up right there. He kept his hands right at chest level of Bryce Young. If he goes high, he hits him in the head. That's going to be 15. If he goes low, he's going to hit him in the knee. They're going to call that for 15. And if he tackles and lands on him there, that'll also be 15. Montez Sweat does a smart thing. 
Clean, physical shot right to the quarterback's chest. Again, incomplete pass. Smart, savvy play, right? Again, it doesn't show up in the stat sheet, but this could have easily been, and we see it all the time in today's NFL, a free 15 for the Carolina Panthers. Instead, Montez Sweat, smart, savvy, takes a good angle, avoids Bryce Young getting out of the pocket, and helps force the incomplete pass and doesn't draw the penalty. That's the key there. Those are the plays, right? And these are the things with teams that are struggling, trying to look to break out. They tend to make a lot more dumb penalties. Montez Sweat is not one of those guys, and that's just another added benefit to this Bears defense. Absolutely. You can't shoot yourself in the foot, and that is what a lot of really aggressive pass rushers get sometimes. You see a lot of penalties get thrown around, and that is exactly uh, what Montez Sweat does not do. He's only had two penalties on the whole season. He's had zero penalties in the last five games. He's playing a lot of really clean, a lot of really good aggressive football, but yet clean football. He knows how to play the game in today's NFL and not get penalized for it. All right, let's go back to the running game. There is sweat right there on the outside shoulder of the tight end in this situation. This is just going to be a run in this direction for the Carolina Panthers. You're going to get kind of a double team sort of by design. The Bears kind of stunt in the way that prevents a double team. Kind of a zone scheme up here. Everyone working this way. Adam Thielen's trying to cut off Risker. Again, not a good situation for Adam Thielen. But again, focusing on Montez Sweat. He wants to, in any situation like this, again, compress the hole and try and take up multiple blockers. He wants both these guys to be focused on him, and he wants to compress the hole inside. Again, the whole point here is to allow their linebackers and their safeties playing in the box to have free reign. Because this is a situation, again, Adam Thielen right there, one-on-one -on -one Jaquan Brisker, that's a mismatch, but Adam Thielen can get away with it if there's a lot of space that Brisker has to travel. If Montez Sweat compresses the hole, it opens up more room for Brisker to work. Again, Montez Sweat unleashes his teammates to make big plays. Let's check it out right here. Or you can see inside, you can see Montez Sweat slanting inside right there. Look how he's taking up two guys right there. Again, the play is designed. You can see where the hole's supposed to go. You can see it open up. Watch Montez Sweat. Again, the running back, Carolina Panthers, Chuba Hubbard, he kind of helps out the Bears here because he tries to bounce it outside, which is kind of a stupid move from his part. But again, he's expecting the Carolina Panthers running back, number 30, is Thielen to actually get a piece on Brisker, but he can't because Thielen doesn't expect that Brisker is going to be flying down inside that much. And the only reason Brisker can fly down inside that much is because Sweat is compressing the hole and bringing the tight end with him. Right, look where Brisker ends up. See how Brisker beats him about three and a half yards to the left of the hash right there? Look at the snap where they start. They start on the hash. If you're Adam Thielen, you're expecting Brisker to maybe end up right there, right on where Sweat's foot is at the start of the snap. You're not expecting him to be three and a half yards to the left because you're not going to planning to make that block. But again, because Montez Sweat compresses it inside and takes up the tight end of the tackle, it allows Brisker the path to come in and make this play. Again, this is next level stuff, folks. It doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but the athleticism and the strength to take up two blockers and compress the hole inside will allow other players like Brisker all night against the Carolina Panthers to make these kind of plays. The, the Chicago Bears, they have playmakers on defense. They really do. It hasn't shown up a lot at times, but they haven't had enough guys to unleash those playmakers. That's why I like the addition of Sweat. He can be a playmaker in his own right, but he's also a guy that can allow other guys to make plays as well. I think we're going to see a lot more of this across the board from the Bears defense. All right, let's go back to a pass rush, and there is Montez Sweat right there on the left side of your screen. One of the things with any defensive player that is kind of missed a lot, unless you're watching the film, is the effort, especially when guys sign big deals, especially when guys are traded and things like that in new situations. We see it all the time, unfortunately, that a lot of really talented guys don't play with a lot of effort. And this is just going to be a one-on-one -on -one pass rush situation right here between Sweat and the Carolina Panthers right tackle. The Panthers right tackle does a pretty good job on Sweat, but again, I want to focus on Sweat's effort, his intensity here. He helps force an incomplete pass just on sheer want to alone. It's not just his physical nature, it's his attitude and effort. Let's check out how he does. We got one on one. Right there, he's kind of right there, he's blocked. He's beat, right? This is a chance. Bryce Young has a, you know, he no one's in his face. He has a chance to clean a ball down the field. Sweat didn't beat the right tackle, right? So again, this is a losing rep. If you were to look at the PFF grade, this would not be a win for Sweat. Again, not the best night for Sweat in terms of production, in terms of filling up the stat sheet. But I love what he does after it, right? This is next level stuff. Gets beat, but keeps working. Keeps working inside. Watch this. He keeps working inside, forces Bryce Young to escape right there inside because he got him an inside move. But I love how he reacts and keeps driving, keeps pushing, keeps chasing him, forces an incomplete pass. Again, it, this stuff doesn't show up on the stat sheet, right? And again, it's not a win for Sweat either, right? He gets blocked. But just on sheer effort, intensity, and athleticism, he helps force an incomplete pass. These are the plays, right? Because we see it all the time. Guys get pressure inside, quarterback escapes, and it's a big play for the offense, right? 
But these are the situations where veteran guys who are playing with effort and attitude can change a game for the defense. Again, it's the little things, right? Like we showed earlier, it's not roughing the passer. It's fighting for a few extra seconds to get pressure on the quarterback. These are the plays. These are why the Bears beat the Carolina Panthers, right? This is why they won this game. And this is why they've been on a little bit of a winning streak because you have started to see more effort from guys. And Sweat's just going to add to that more and more. I think this is looking like a great addition for the Chicago Bears, not just for this season, but for the future as well. Yeah, Nick, and that's the key here, the future of this team. And if you have a guy that has just been on your team, this second game with the team, and he's already putting in this much effort, you can probably attribute that, translate that over into leadership in the defensive locker room, just showing if this guy is brand new to the team, he's already showing this much effort, this much want to in the Bears uniform. It's going to highlight all of the other players, pick them up. They're going to want to look to a guy like Montez Sweat that, listen, we got to play just as hard as this guy is playing. And I think this could be a big one for the Bears going forward, just getting this defense turned around and moving in the right direction. All right, let's go back to a run defense. There is Sweat right there on the right side of your screen. This is just going to be a kind of duo double team concept inside from the Carolina Panthers. We're going to get double teams here working onto that linebacker. Left tackle is going to block out. We're going to get kind of a double team action right here working onto that linebacker. And the tight end right there is going to block out on Sweat. And you can kind of see how this is structured. The Carolina Panthers are trying to run it inside. You can see this natural hole right here, just all this grass right here. Again, they're going to try and get double teams on the linebackers right here. And right in this situation, obviously a tight end one-on-one -on, -one on Sweat is normally a mismatch. But by alignment, the whole focus here from the Carolina Panthers in any offense is like, well, he's so far outside. I mean, look at where he is right now that he can't come inside and make this play and blow it up. This is another element of Sweat's game. Pure, unadulterated athleticism and playmaking ability. Let's watch it how he does here. All right, you can see the double team starting there. You can see the block out by the left tackle. You can see the tight end trying to block out. You can see right there, Sweat's already working around him. Watch how he closes this down, makes the tackle. I think this was the only tackle all night official on the stat sheet for Montez Sweat, but it's a big one. Because right there, they got bodies on bodies here. Right. And this is one of the things that's been missing from this Bears defense is a guy who can just make a play in these kind of situations where the offense has schematically designed them to be outside of the play. Not a great block by 82. But the whole theory of any concept like this is if the defensive end runs around the outside like this, he can't make the play. There's just not enough guys who are long enough and athletic enough to come inside and make the play. In fact, if he takes a loop right this, the running backs are taught and you can see it here to kind of try and bounce it back outside and escape him. The sweat's so athletic that he actually comes in and makes a tackle anyway. This level of playmaking and building and athleticism just adds another dimension to this Bears defense, and it's just another tool in the toolbox for Montez Sweat. A lot of people are wondering about the trade and the deal. I mean, there's still some question marks. We'll have to see how it works out in the long term. But so far, it looks like the Bears got a lot of value in Montez Sweat. It looks to be a great move by the Bears front office picking this guy up. Yeah, and there's two things here. One thing that everybody probably knows and one thing everybody doesn't, Nate. One is that Sweat when he gets his hands on you, he is a sure tackler. That has been something that he's been great at all season long. 76.5 tackling PFF grade all season. Average out at least a 70 every game. He's a very sure tackler, which is a good thing. But the other thing people might not understand, everyone remembers the flash. Everyone remembers the sacks, the pass rush. Sweat is a phenomenal run defender. He has an 83.7 run defense grade this season per PFF. He's absolutely been lights out, and that is one addition that he could bring to this Bears defense that I think is going to be crucial. Yes, the pass rush is flashy. It is good. It creates big-time plays if you get a sack or a fumble, but the run defense is something that you have to have in and out every single play that is not the pass rush. You know, what are you going to be doing? And if he is that good at those things, I think that is a really good sign for the Bears.